Ingenuity has performed its first flight of a powered aircraft on another planet. Ingenuity is that Wright Brothers moment. We check the box, yes, we can fly on Mars. What comes next? It all began with the question, can we fly on Mars? People have had ideas about flying aircraft on Mars for, for quite some time. That it's never been done before. But the only way to find out is by actually trying it. If you don't try it, you're not going to find out. On Mars, you have 1% the atmosphere to contend with compared to here on Earth. You know, that 1% density uh, it makes everything tougher. Then there are a lot of other challenges. Uh, we have the environment. It gets very cold at night. It's far away. So it needs a lot of autonomy. You upload commands and you wait to hear back the next day. There's no joysticking possible. We have to do analysis first, use our pen and paper, look at the fundamentals, and then we build simulation models. And all of that design work and testing that went into that eventually developed Ingenuity. This spacefaring aircraft, you know, is a first of a kind. Ingenuity adds that aerial dimension towards exploration on Mars. Liftoff, launching the next generation of robotic explorers to the Red Planet. We'd made it through launch, cruise, EDL, all of that, and we were ready now to begin our real mission, our real life on Mars. And we were all excited to see what Ingenuity could really do. We were ready for Flight 1. Earlier today, Ingenuity should have autonomously performed its first flight attempt on Mars. We are all holding our breath. Ingenuity is reporting. Altimeter data confirms that Ingenuity has performed its first flight of a powered aircraft on another planet. At that point, you just opened the floodgates of what is possible. Yeah, it was surreal. That was the crowning achievement of, of the team. You know, we really had to hold hands and, and do it uh, together. From that moment forward, really, we were off to the races and saying, okay, great, that's done. Let's get back to work. Uh, let's get to flight two and then three, and then so on and so on. How fast can we fly? How high up above the surface can we fly? We started doing things in parallel with the rover, and we've also demonstrated that the helicopter can be a scout to help scientists. It's been a remarkable journey, um, and I think a highlight of all of our lives to have been a part of it. Of course, there's a little sadness that, oh no, it's, it's over. It's kind of the, like, the end of an era, but it's also the beginning of an era. To realize, you know, what you're part of here, at least for me, I kind of get goosebumps. We hope that Ingenuity will inspire teams to build larger, more capable vehicles. From a science perspective, what is interesting now that we've unlocked that aerial dimension? The best way to predict the future is to create it.